Alright, hey everybody, it is Tony and I am back. Got three TTMs for you today. Got a couple of big leaguers and one Heisman Trophy winner. So let's get to the Heisman Trophy winner. And it is Desmond Howard. Signed really small up in the top right hand corner of the card, which is no big deal. Desmond Howard won the Heisman Trophy for the University of Michigan back in 1991. As Keith Jackson said so famously, Hello, Heisman. I know, very bad impression. But uh, Desmond Howard, uh, I only set one card because that's all I could find, of course. You know, afterwards, you find a couple of more and you're like, oh, crap. Oh, well, it's uh, no big deal. As you can see, Desmond Howard had four 1,000-yard kickoff return yards in a season. Is that a sign of playing on a bad team or is that mean you're really good at uh, kickoff returns? I don't know. I guess that's up to you. Uh, he was a Super Bowl MVP at Super Bowl 31. So, again, happy to get Desmond Howard back. I did meet him in person very briefly a few years ago. And my next one comes from Jay Howell. Jay Howell played for a number of teams, Was won a World Series with the Dodgers in 1988. Sorry, Brandon. He played so very briefly with the Cubs and the Reds. He came up with the Reds in 1980, uh, just played a couple of games. And then uh, played with the Cubs the following season. I was looking to see in my immense collection of Cubs cards to see if I did have any Jay Howell cards in a Cubs uniform. Or if there are any Jay Howell cards in a Cubs uniform. I could not find any. So the Dodgers it was. 1990 Fleer 1. Yeah, that's right, Scott. 1990 Fleer is so much better than all the other crap from the early 90s. Uh, Jal, uh, just he only pitched two and two thirds inning in that World Series, but still got a World Series ring and was a three time All Star. All of his work was out of the bullpen. He did get a start here and there, I think, early in his career, but again, it was mostly out of the bullpen for Jay Howell. And my final TTM comes all the way from the Galapagos Islands. Or Philadelphia. But either one. It's a Philly Fanatic. The Philly Fanatic. Though, you know, I always wonder about these mascot cards. If they're actually the mascot signing. Or if there's some just low paid employee intern that's signing all the mascot cards. But Philly Fanatic, very happy to get him back. Or her back. Or it back. Or whatever you want to call it. It's it's a big green monster. Uh there have been two dudes inside the Philly Fanatic uh, costume. The original Philly Fanatic got into it with uh, Tommy Lasorda in the late 80s. I believe it was 1988 on the way to the Dodgers World Series victory. Uh, and then the uh, the other guy uh, replaced the original Fanatic, I want to say, in the mid-90s. That could, could be wrong, but uh, I'm sure Phillies fans will be happy to uh, let me know when that was. And he is an original inductee into the Mascot Hall of Fame. And I learned which is in Whiting, Indiana, just outside of Chicago. So if you ever want to go to the Mascot Hall of Fame, it's in Indiana. That is all I have for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.